Shalom and welcome back to the tea table, my friends. As always, I really appreciate you joining me today. You are not alone. Proverbs 5.21 tells us, For a man's ways are before the eyes of the Lord, and he ponders all his paths. You know, when I was a teenager growing up in New York and coming from a family of two older brothers and two younger sisters, looking back over many of the things I did, I'm amazed how I thought that every wrong that I did would never be seen or knew by my mom or my brothers, and how I didn't care if my sisters found out, because my philosophy was, might is right at that time, and my sisters wouldn't dare turn me in or else they knew what would happen to them. I was the bully of my sisters. It's not that I did evil things, it's just that some of the things were very mischievous. And besides, if I did get caught, I could always blame my sisters. When I got older, in college, I outgrew that behavior only to take on another behavior that was just as bad. If I did something wrong, I would take on the ostrich syndrome. If there was a situation, figuratively speaking, I would just bury my head in the sand and make believe it didn't exist, and that eventually it would go away. Many times the issue did go away for me, but someone else usually suffered some degree of the consequence of my behavior. You know, many of us do that today within the church. We either see something or know about something that needs to be addressed, like a brother or sister in need, or a family that has no food to feed their children, or no money to buy clothes, and we turn our heads the other way, which is no different than sticking our heads in the sand and hoping the need goes away. Or we spiritualize the situation and tell ourselves it's not my ministry or I don't have a green light. You see, my friends, our decisions for anything are never just ours alone. Every situation we find ourselves is never a situation where we are all alone. I was reading in Proverbs 5.21, For a man's ways are before the eyes of the Lord, and he ponders all his paths. Another word for ponder is to think about or consider. Another way to phrase this is found in Hebrews 4.13, Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him to whom we must give account. Granted, we can always fall back on 1 John 1, nine. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And God is faithful to forgive us. But there are still consequences for our actions. Even something as simple as turning our heads on a needy brother or sister. Now, you might be asking yourself, what kind of consequence could there possibly be? Here's an example of not being obedient and the consequences that followed. Many, many years ago, when I was living in Puerto Rico, I was in the mall, and a young boy in a wheelchair who was being pushed by an adult came right up by me, and I clearly heard the Lord say, Lay hands on him, and I will raise him up. Well, being afraid of failing, I said no and walked to another part of the mall. Within 30 minutes, this same young boy came right by me, and I heard the Lord say the same thing, Lay hands on him, and I will raise him up. A second time, I said no and walked away. This happened four times where I said no. What was the consequence of my action? A missed opportunity to see God raise a young boy out of a wheelchair and set him free from the bondage that kept him confined to the wheelchair. That missed opportunity can never be recovered by me. Was I alone in this decision? Of course not. We are never alone in anything we do, whether it be righteous or sinful. Even our deepest thoughts are not ours to do with as we see fit. And our silent thoughts on earth are broadcasted very loudly in heaven by he who knows our every thought. 
By the very nature of being alive, we have become accountable to God for everything we do. Once again, Proverbs 5.21, For a man's ways are before the eyes of the Lord, and he ponders all his paths. Which ways are before the Lord? Every way, every trip, every journey that we take in life is being watched by the Lord. If it were not so, why would it tell us in Job 34.21, His eyes are on the ways of mortals. He sees their every step. Why would God have to ponder our ways? Doesn't he know the ending from the beginning? I personally believe it's for the same reason that we often go before the Lord and say to him that we want to be honest with him. It's not that God is waiting for us to be honest or that he has to watch our every step because he has no clue what our next step is. It's because God wants us to come to that place that we realize our every thought, our every step, our every action is known by God and that we should use wisdom in all that we do and come to that place that everything we do will be done out of obedience to God. And that's our life goal, is to be pleasing to God in all that we do, even as we are told in Colossians 3.17. And whatever you do or say, do it as a representative of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks through him to God the Father. As a representative of the Lord Jesus Christ, how can I give thanks to the Father by hiding my head in the sand, hoping a situation will go away? Or how can I thank the Father by saying no to his son in setting a young boy free from his wheelchair? How can I be a representative of Jesus Christ in thinking I'm all alone in any decisions that need to be made? Truth be told, when we think we are alone in anything that we do, we deny the word of God that tells us in Hebrews 13.5, God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. My friends, we are never alone and our actions are always before the eyes of our Father in heaven. And with that, I leave you with this. Yevarechecha Adonai veyishmerecha. Ye'er Adonai panavilecha vihunecha. Yisa Adonai panavilecha veyesemlecha shalom. The Lord bless you and protect you. The Lord cause the light of his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn all of his attention to you and give to you his peace. God bless my friends. I'll see you again next week at the tea table.